Okay. All right, gentlemen, ladies, everyone. All right, what we have for you guys here tonight, this is a custom unit that I built here for uh, Mr. Sharpshooter out here in, uh, up in the uh, New York State here. Now, uh, we previously did a video on his uh, other box here, which was a uh, one driving four. And uh, he went ahead and got that RF bug. And uh, he said, Pill Popper, I'm going to go ahead and need a, a bigger box, man. It's like, this skip is uh, getting pretty crazy out here. He's like, that box is doing its thing, man, but I, 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 need, to, I need to be boss. So I went ahead and uh, consulted here with uh, Mr. Sharpshooter. And uh, we went ahead and decided on a, uh, a two-drive and six. And what we have here is uh, six 2879s. And the drivers are two 2290s. Now they're all Toshiba, no DEI, no uh, no Chinese whatsoever in this guy. So this is uh, definitely a nice sturdy box. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, look on the front panel here just to show you uh, some of the goodies because this guy's kind of already loaded. Now um, this does have a, a digital voltmeter. All of our new base amps here are going to come equipped with the uh, digital voltmeter. Um, and of course, I know the lighting here is really bad, but what I have here is it's a breaker switch. Um, it's not an on-off switch. Uh, well, it is an on and off switch, but it's not your standard uh, toggle switch um, that some of these other builders that, that I've seen use. Because uh, eventually, uh, the amps will eventually kill that switch. And so what we did was we went ahead and uh, added uh, toggle switches on all of our, uh, our uh, power supplies and our base amps. So no more fuses. So if you happen to trip something, you just go ahead and uh, flip it right back on. And you go right back to broadcasting. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Let's see what we got. Okay, right here, this LED here is a TX indicator. So when you key up, this light here will flash, let you know that you are ready to rock and roll. Um, and what we have here is a uh, preamp. Go ahead and pull in those weak signals. And here is we have our sideband. And I'm going to turn these off because I know it's going to create a, one big glare. And uh, this is a pretty cool feature here that we added. And uh, we've gotten a, a couple of uh, inquiries about it. This is a our, our classing, or um, what you say, your biasing. Now this goes from uh, AB to C class. So especially if you're a really big sideband talker, hit sideband, hit your AB man, you got a clean audio, clean signal. The audio really mainly actually relies on the radio itself, but um, you'll definitely get a nice clean signal output on this guy. And uh, of course when you're talking skip on AM, you really want to drop a hammer, put it on C class and let it go man, the most efficient way. All right, and let's go ahead and make our way down to the other end. Now, this right here is our variable uh, power knob. Control your wattage output just by this. Now, this right here is actually controlling the uh, the two pill uh, 2290s. So you can go ahead and just crack that thing halfway if you just want to talk local, or if someone's getting on your nerves, or you really want to show them who's boss. Go ahead and just go right there in the right hand corner, and hopefully that's exactly where your signal will be. All right. Now here we have uh, four coin fans all together, <clears throat> and I'm gonna actually go ahead and pop the top here for you. <clears throat> all right. Now as you can see here, we definitely uh, have a lot going on on this. We have a preamp, we have AB biasing, we have a two pill driver, we have biasing. <coughs> excuse me for the uh, for the 2290s and the biasing for the 2879s. So, definitely have a lot going on here. Um, uh, so much going on, and it's kind of hard to, to hide everything. But um, as you can see, this thing will definitely cruise. Um, and here uh, we have the uh, the bison circuit here on the side. Sorry, my lighting's pretty bad. I'm gonna have to run another uh, light here at a different angle. Um, and this right here is the relay. Basically, it's uh, toggling between your C class and AB. 
Now we also can do other classes too. Um, you know, we can do regular uh, B class and C class. Not too much of a difference. Um, just enough usually to kind of knock down the interference a little bit. If uh, you know, if you have uh, a lot of neighbors and stuff like that. Um, nowadays, pretty much everyone has neighbors. Um, and as you look, you don't see any cast iron transformers. I think I demonstrated this one here before. Um, what we're actually using here is the uh, regulated power supplies. Um, now these guys right here, they're about literally almost a quarter of the weight of a cast iron transformer. They're cheaper, they're more efficient. Um, uh, like I said, they're lighter. So our costs to you are a little cheaper. Um, and actually without sacrificing any quality because these things are perfect. And as you can see, right here at idle, at 14, 14.8, and as I key down, you'll see this thing drop just a, a couple tenths of a volt. I mean, it's very minimum, very minimum. And our power supplies are pretty much built like a tank. So you'll never have any issues whatsoever with these guys at all. So um, definitely feel free to go on our website, check them out, check our base units out. Uh, we do run specials here and there. Uh, if you don't see something, Go ahead and email me, say pill popper. You know I'm looking for a uh, you know 3,000 amp power supply to run my two pill. Just let me know, we'll make it happen. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, take this guy for a test spin here. I know Sharpshooter over here is uh, anx anxiously waiting for his uh, his box here because I know that skip is rolling perfectly, so I don't blame him. I'm gonna turn this thing off here and uh, put the cover back on. Alright, and as you can tell, um, just like our, our normal test here, we're going to be running a uh, single final heated in Washington radio. Um, this guy here is uh, nothing but a 1969. Has been tuned and peaked, but nothing major. Uh, basically, the reason why I don't use a, uh, an export radio is because, um, you know, it'll show more wattage, definitely. Um, but what I like to do is I, I like to throw conservative numbers out to my amps. I mean, it's it's always best for, you know, you the customer to receive an amp, you know. It's like, okay, well, this thing's doing 300 watts. I hook it up here to, you know, my General Lee or my Galaxy or uh, my Striker. And, man, this thing's doing, you know, at least another 100 watts extra. You know, that's definitely an added bonus because those radios definitely do have a little more oomph than these uh, old school Unidens and uh, uh, Cobra radios. But... You know, I'm an old school guy. I like them. Um, I have exports here in my Mobile and our Suburban. But uh, it's really hard to beat these guys, too. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, look at our LP100A. I'm just going to uh, <coughs> give a little test here of what the radio is doing. So this is all strictly radio. All radio. All radio. Check, 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 check. All right. 15 watts. 15 watts. All right. Let's go ahead and switch her on. All right. And actually, I don't have this thing completely all bolted here together. So do mind me here as I get these fans rolling. Because basically, if you don't have this, you don't have a. Uh, if I don't have any of the casing screws, you can't keep the, the ground circuit to keep the fans going, but for demonstration purposes, if the fans quit <laughs> because, of the, uh, because of the screws. <laughs> Alright, let's go here. 14.8, okay. And we're also on channel 20, right between the band. Let's go ahead and uh, key it down. Oh. Check, 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 check. Hello, come in to drive in six. Destroy your technology. All right, let me go here and uh, keep the key down here for just a little bit. There we go. Look at that. 14.6, 14.5. Look at that. Man. Is that regulated power supply or is that a regulated power supply? Hello, check, 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 check. Come on, man. I tell you, this thing runs nice and smooth, man. Nice and smooth. And, you know, with these fans and all, man, this thing is. Uh, 
things are really going to be hard to beat. There we go. Sharpshooter, you probably, if you're doing uh, a little more drive than us, you'll probably easily see 1300, no problem. Um, so we're knocking on 1300's door with this guy. <coughs> really hope you enjoy it. I know that skip is rolling, so um, if anyone out here is uh, looking for a custom box, definitely let me know. Uh, you can reach me here at uh, destroyeramps at AOL.com. And definitely feel free to visit our website and check out what we have at destroyeramps.com. Alright, thanks for tuning in. 73rds, fellas.